Malloy up the near sideline, still here in possession. Malloy had it touched away by Andrea Caradonna, who has had an incredible start to this 2021 campaign for Stonehill. Ball into the circle. Crow battling for it for Stonehill. Crow frees it up. Still Crow. Ball loose in the circle. Falterer fell on top of it. Crosberg a goal and an assist against Westchester. And then assisted on the lone goal of the game against Stack over the weekend. And there's Hickey again with another shot. And then the 3-2 defeat to Westchester. And Stonehill offensively still looking to click. This could be a chance here. Cameron tries to roll one through. Falterer got to the ground. To not Malloy running against Bean. Bean able to strip her of the ball. And Bean has it taken away from her. And the team's trading possession along the near sideline. And rolled into the center circle, but quickly won back by St. Anselm. Good passing here. Ball forward to Lewandowski. Into the circle, Lewandowski tripped up by Campbell, waiting for a call here. Looked like the official was about to make it a city. Seven of those corners successfully to begin the 2021 season. It's a giveaway inside the circle by Caradonna. Could be trouble here, and St. A's is going to capitalize. And then the 3-2 defeat to Westchester. And Stonehill offensively still looking to click. This could be a chance here, Cameron. Tries to roll one through. Falterer got to the ground. To not Stonehill with six options, or seven options, rather, draping the top of the circle. Ball settled. Now brought in. Chance for a shot here by McGee, and it's in! <laughs> Taken up top into the circle, and the driving shot by Dunn is blocked. Dunn tries to get a second effort. Ball only seven of those corners successfully to begin the 2021 season. It's a giveaway inside the circle by Caradonna. Could be trouble here. And St. A's is going to capitalize. Archambault. Trying to get it clear now. Gomer pushes it further away. Keen Reinhardt goes right through the legs of Gomer. Pass into the circle. And out of reach from Matty Wall. Now Caradonna looking for a shooting chance. Ball's loose in front. Skyhawks poking away at it. Bodies all along the goal line. Skyhawks calling for it, and it's a goal. All the way through. St. A's gets it into the circle. Done. looking for room to shoot. All the way toward the goal line, pushed away on the line, and then the Hawks score. St. Anselm gets one back. With Skyhawks can't start it up cleanly. It's given right back. Here's Murphy on the ground, taken away by McGee. Move forward to Hickey. Hickey. Just defending, playing keep away. Ball out, and the time ticks away. Stonehill improves to 2-0 in conference play and hands the third-ranked St. Anselm Hawks their first <laughs> loss of the season. It's Stonehill's second victory over a ranked opponent this year and a big one here in conference play. Final, Skyhawks three, St. Anselm two. Um, I definitely think today was a team win. I feel like everyone was working together really hard. Um, one thing we were focusing definitely on was moving it from one side of the field to the other consistently and um, pre-scanning and staying composed and um, making sure we were working together and talking to each other. So I think that definitely helped through all of it. Um, in the back, Abby Campbell is just like so loud and so such a leader, same with Andrea. And so it really helps in the back. You always know that you got people next to you who you trust and who are working hard. Yeah, I definitely think it's, you know, staying in your space, knowing when to step up and when to not, and um, really focusing on Staying composed, getting it out, and um, making sure no extra fouls because you don't want to make it worse for your teammate next to you. Um, yeah, it was definitely exciting. Um, you know, we've been working really hard on our corners, and it was a great pass from Alicia. Started out with a great insert, so, you know, team win, definitely. Very exciting stuff. Yeah, definitely going into this weekend, focus on staying composed, playing as a team, and, um, really going out there, staying at this energy level that we have right now 
and um, definitely looking for some more team wins to continue in our season. Yeah, we you know know from day one, St. A's is a very strong team from front to back, very well coached, so we respect them, and we knew that today was going to be a battle from the starting whistle to the last whistle, so you know the girls did their job and they came prepared, so you know this was such a team win for them. Yeah, and I think our team has just really stepped up to the challenge of embracing you know, their jobs and their roles. And I think everyone's done a phenomenal job of helping each other become better. Um, so that's been our main focus on kind of walking through and making sure that those set pieces are what they need to be, how they need to be. Yeah, they've come in and they've kind of embraced it. Last year was such a fluke year that, you know, they only got to practice in groups of five. So this group has stepped in just like the freshmen, um, just kind of have a year on campus behind them, but that's really about it. So they've sort of embraced the advantage that they have, but also knowing that they're, this is kind of their step into the, the real game as well. Yeah, I mean, we've had some very tough opponents, um, and I think every everything going forward is just going to be just as tough. Uh, one thing I love about the NE10 is every game is a challenge. So um, we're excited to use the things that we did well tonight and just bring it on into to our next game.